Today's showdown live is based more around showcasing the team at hand. Therefore, the battles chosen were not chosen based on their competitiveness, but rather based on how well they showcased the Pokemon involved in the battle. Please keep that in mind when passing judgment about my opponent's skill level. Thank you, have a good day. Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi here. I have a team for you today. I'm going to start this uh, showdown post-narration a lot like a showdown live. And the fact that I show you the team is called Team Bad Idea because it was basically full of a couple bad ideas for sets that I've... Uh, I wanted to try out more specifically one bad idea of a set and a couple other things that I've just wanted to try. First off, you have Assault Vest Machamp, it's basically Conkleder of you. It's like Conkleder Jr. And it's really threatening. I run a little bit of speed to speed other Machamps, and that's about all you need to know. I just have Nasty Pass Celebi because I have a few special attackers on this team uh, with my Stealth Rock. I have Lead Life Orb as Elf because people always see as Elf in the lead slot and they're just like oh it's gonna set up stealth rock and then maybe explode or go over something no I'm packing like life orb psychic fire blast dazzling gleam if you want to be a stall team I can just nasty plot on your face uh, lead life orb itself is a really good Pokemon and uh, more people should use it here is the team named after um, I was in a Skype call and I came up with specially defensive bulk up Metacham Mega Metacham it's pretty bad uh, I mean it's not bad in concept, it's just that offensive Mega Metacham is obviously a lot better. Don't run this. Uh, as you'll see in the two battles that I'm bringing you, it does work. It works exactly like I thought it would, and the concept behind it is sound. It's just not what you should be doing with Mega Metacham. You should be <laughs> using it offensively. But uh, basically, it reaches base 100 speed, which is what uh, all the pixies and stuff are at, and it's just a good speed number to have, and it actually has decent bulk, and it has access to recover, so I figured why the hell not, uh, just black glasses, crawdont because powerful, got dragon dance on there because I don't have a choice band, because I figured, normally I run choice band switcheroo, now that I'm running black glasses I might as well run dragon dance, you never know, and then down here at the bottom, which I'll move down for you, is just the star of the show, Mixed Teeny, uh, you've seen her before, you've seen her now, she just uh, ruins teams. So looking at the first team preview here, my opponent just has a bunch of random crap, but the reason I'm showing you this battle in particular is because it's short and uh, the two stars of the show happen to really shine in it, so let's just replay it real quick. So I'm going to lead off with Life Orb itself as he leads off with Whimsicott, he's going to predict me to set up Stealth Rock and I roast him first turn and he just dies. And there's Life Orb lead itself coming through for me, real strong. Um, looking at the rest of his team, uh, <laughs> I know it's really early to say that, but uh, once Entei is gone, Azelf just straight up sweeps it after a nasty plot. I mean, look at his team, literally everything would die. So. I'm going to sack off Victini, not before getting off a crap ton of damage to a couple extreme speeds. I'm going to go into Machamp and just start firing off dynamic punches, because I mean, really, what wants to take confusion? I'm going to knock off on the Swampert on the second turn in case he wanted to switch out. Brings in Electros and he's going to dynamic punch on the first turn. He's not going to get confused and he's going to go for a coil. And then, uh, spoilers, I'm going to 2 KO him as he gets confused on this hit right here. This is why No Guard Machamp is just so freaking threatening, because... Pokemon are a lot bulkier, <laughs> like Pokemon seem a lot bulkier when you can only hit them 50% of the time. Um, he is going to break through here and crit me with a close combat, which mattered, but I mean, I'm, unless he's banded, but whatever. As you can see right there, he's lefty, so no, it, it did matter, but I'm completely fine with it. I'm going to go into Mega Metacham. As you can see, Bullet Punch does nothing as I just set up a substitute, and then on this turn, I'm going to go for a bulk up knowing that most likely I can take a fighting move because I have that psychic type, but he's going to hurt himself in confusion anyway. And then uh, going for another bullet punch, he hurts himself again. So look at that. Uh, no guard Machamp, putting in work even though it's not even on the field anymore. It brings him uh, muck here. And this uh, turns out, as you will see once he stops critting my substitute as I'm bulking up, uh, which happens two turns from now, one turn from now, on this next upcoming turn. Um, he is going to reveal the curse, Muck, and uh, I'm just going to speed this up really quick and do some quick post-narration. Okay, so here I'm just going to stay in, uh, go for another Drain Punch, knowing that his uh, Poison Jeff is not going to be breaking a sub, which means it's going to be doing less than 20, which means I can easily take it and just do a KO him. Uh, don't really care about the poison at that point, and I just end up critting him, so it's rather whatever. He's going to come in, I eat up a Flare Blitz, and I just kill it off with a Drain Punch, and that's going to be the first game. 
Also, my name's Peel Live. I can't believe I actually got to register that one on Showdown. But, uh, besides the point, as you can see, Lee Day's Elf putting in a little bit of work, and Mega Metacham defensively, like I said, it's a sound concept. It does work. It's just, don't use it because <laughs> you should be using other things. So, looking at the second battle here, uh, this one's a little bit more competent. He has a decent looking stall team, actually, against this random team that I threw together. Um, Suicune is normally a massive threat, like Crocoon, but <laughs> my team actually has like a couple answers to it. I have uh, Mixtini with the Life Orb Thunder, and I have um, Nasty Plot Celebi. Like, normal Celebi kind of uh, can switch and encounter uh, Suicune, but I have Nasty Plot to just give a bigger middle finger than ever to Suicune. Uh, for some reason, this guy wants to be the guy who's running Kangaskhan just because it's in UU. Um, that's whatever. I mean, yeah, whatever. So, looking at the first turn here, I'm going to lead off with Azelf. He leads off with Umbreon. I go for Dazzling Clean because I'm retarded. And he's just going to kill me off with Foul Play. So, down 6-5, nice and early. Turn 1. Turn 1 deficit. That is not value added. Uh, he's going to protect. And seeing this makes me feel like he's the kind of player who either A, knows what he's doing and PP stalls out moves like Dynamic Punch, or just spams protect needlessly. So I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind. Um, knock off the lefties on this chestnut, which means it's not going to be getting that much recovery back. And then I'm just going to be like, hey, you, you're going to deal with some confusion. Have fun with that. He ends up getting confused. I'm going to switch out to Mixtini. So, okay, this turn, I didn't want to go for Thunder predicting Suicune, and I didn't want to go for Blue Flare in case he did go out to Suicune. I went for a nice safe middle play by going for Psychic, and for some reason he went up to Umbreon, which just baffled my mind. Like, <laughs> how did you just pull that switch out of nowhere? I, I could not tell you. Um, anyway, he's going to PP stall. Uh, one more dynamic punch off of me after I eat up a foul play. He gets hurt in confusion, which I feel is fair justice for that random switch. And uh, I get a knockoff, then a bullet punch, and his Mew is dead. Uh, no will o -Wisp, no problem. In comes Aggron. I know he's going to Mega Evolve before I can hit him, but he's still going to have to deal with confusion because confusion is really like the least fun thing to deal with because you know you have that 50-50 to break through it, but you never can. He fortunately does break through it twice. But it's going to allow me to bring up Meta Me Me Mega Medicham. I'm going to try to sub here, um, hoping that he hurts himself in confusion, but he doesn't, so I'm just going to stop playing ass grab with him. Kill him off as he brings out the Suicune. I don't really want to do anything to this Suicune other than just switch and Celebi because I know it's 100% safe and he can't do anything to me. So I'm just going to go out, go for a nasty plot in case he wanted to go for a Calm Mind as he ends up going out to Umbreon. Now, looking at <laughs> the rest of my team, nothing can take a foul play other than this Crawdon. So I'm going to baton pass the plus two at the Crawdon. Knowing the Protect is so damn obvious on this play, like, disgustingly obvious. I'm just going to go for a uh, Dragon Dance, and on the next turn I can knock off to get some uh, the lefties out of there, and then kill him off with a Waterfall. Don't know if Waterfall would have killed right away, I don't really care, as he's going to bring up Suicune, a plus one knockoff does like 60%. Jesus Christ, Crawdon is a little bit broken in UU. Knockoff is actually the problem on Crawdon, but Crawdon, because of knockoff, is just way too good in my opinion. Um, it has the same thing as Bisharp, where knockoff just put it to that whole new tier of being crazy too good. Um, he has Crunch over Sucker Punch on his Kangaskhan here, um, so even after the defense drop because of the HP I got back, he's not going to be able to kill me here because he does not have Sucker Punch, obviously. As uh, Celebi's going to be able to put in a little bit of work here, and on the last turn, just for fun, I'm going to baton pass out to Mixtini as he sets up a layer of spikes in vain, and I can kill him off with a blue flare and then hit my thunder, surprisingly, and kill off his Suicune. So that is going to be the game, as you can see, or the games, I guess. As you can see, this team is really silly. I guess I'll, if you really are tempted to use it, I can leave it in a paste bin down below. Um, and in all honesty, Mixtini and Life Orb Lead Azelf are the only things worth using on this team. Well, Assault Vest Machamp is really good as well, and obviously. Okay, use everything but the Mega Metacham. It's just bad. Don't use it. Uh, that's about all I wanted to say for today. Uh, UHC started it again, which has sucked up a lot of my time video wise. Um, and look for a couple series possibly hitting my YouTube channel that don't involve a competitive Pokemon. Um, that's the only hint I'll give you there. Not much of a hint, not much of a non-hint. I'll just stop talking. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you next time. Take it easy. Have a good day. See you later. Peace.